Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business or profession to share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Tokyo Rosenthal. Tokyo, welcome to the welcome to the show. My pleasure to be here as always. Sure. So why don't you explain to everybody who you are and what it is that you do? Uh, well, I'm Tokyo Rosenthal. You can find out a lot about me from TokyoRosenthal.com, but the bottom line is I'm a singer-songwriter. I record, I tour, and I've been doing this, uh, boy, since I'm six years old. Okay, so you um, uh, perform Americana music, or okay. right, right. So can you explain what, what that is exactly? Americana music is, when I was growing up, we called it folk rock. Then slowly it became country rock. Then it incorporated classic rock as well. It just came back and forth, and the umbrella has gotten wider and wider. So when people ask me, like you're asking me now, I say it's anything from the Grateful Dead to Emmy Lou Harris and Willie Nelson and everything in between. Okay. It's, a, it's a very big umbrella these days. Okay, cool. Well, very good. And then um, you write, write music as well. I do. So uh, what, what are some tips or some advice you can give a, an up-and-coming uh, writer on, you know, how, how, do you, how do you write a hit? Well, I think one of the ways you write a hit is not to try to write a hit. You, you, you have to write what you feel and what you're passionate about and you can't sit there and start looking for hooks. Hooks come when you're least expecting them, and hit records come when you're least expecting them. You, you, know, you might get your best writing out of something that you totally didn't figure on, and uh, other people may interpret your music better than, they, than you interpreted it, and that'll become a hit. You just never know where it's gonna come from, but if you go looking for it, it won't be there. Okay, so, I mean, have you ever had any hits, and if so, how did it come about? Well. Hits, the definition of a hit these days is a lot different than the definition of a hit 20 years or 30 years ago. There aren't million sellers like there used to be every day. Uh, today, a hit record can be based on how much radio play you're getting. Uh, my biggest song that put me over the top and got my, I guess, my musical renaissance going again was a song called Edmonton up in Alberta, Canada, and that, that was a big one. At the same time, St. Patrick's Day was a song I wrote which got me two tours in Ireland which was kind of nice. So you, you never know where, where it's going to come from. And again, definition of a, of a hit, if, if I think it feels like a hit, then that's good enough for me. Okay, very good. All right, so, and then finally, um, how, I mean, you've been in the music business a long time, since you were six years old, you said, or we're playing anyway. Right. Um, how has it changed uh, since you got into it? And any tips or recommendations on someone starting out today? Uh, well, I would say the biggest change is the internet. Uh, there's no more CD stores to speak of, so you are not selling a lot of CDs. Uh, a lot of it takes place online, and you have to figure out how to differentiate yourself from everybody else that's out there, which comes down to marketing, as you can understand as a businessman. You have to figure out how the person surfing around the internet is going to find you in this whole massive bunch of people that are out there. People have said to me, what do you like most about the music business today? And I say, free enterprise. What do you like the least about music today? Free enterprise, because everybody and their uncles got a website and a Facebook page and everybody's putting music out there. So save some time for marketing. It's not just about recording and putting it on the internet because nobody's going to find you. You've got to figure out how to market it, get a publicist, and get your word out there and try to come up with a little bit of a spin, not something too contrived, but come up with a spin that's gonna differentiate you from everybody else. Um, I mentioned before the song Edmonton. I didn't do it on purpose, but I happened to write a song about a city that never had a song written about it before, and next thing I knew, the mayor was giving me the key to the city, and everybody in that city woken me with open arms, and I had a, a minor hit, let's call it a small hit. So look for something that's gonna make you a little bit different. Wow, good advice. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for coming into the show today. Um, Anytime. Uh, yeah, and if uh, any of you out there would like more information about Tokyo, and uh, check out his website that will be at the end of this video. And if you'd like to continue this conversation online, please do so by filling out the box below. That's all I have for this week. Until next time, take care.